Good afternoon, 14th of April today, uh, mid-April. Usually I'm planting my own plants out into the trenches by now, but uh, I'm way behind this year. Never mind, these aren't my own. These are leeks that's still waiting to be collected. A lot of people collect late April, uh, ready to plant straight in the trench. Over the back, uh, we have onions. These are in two litre pots. This is my own onion that I've now got potted on in the two litre pots. I hope you can see that the sun's quite bright today. Moving along, we've got the eight ounce onion canto. There's quite a few over there. And I'm quite happy with those. They're up in the final pots. I grow them in two litre pots for the simple fact they were getting too big in the garden and I was missing the eight ounce class, 250 grams. So they're, uh, I'll grow those through in those pots. As I say, these are different varieties of onions all just waiting to be picked up from people. I do grow a few hanging baskets, so these are all for hanging baskets. Uh, got a lot of daffodils off Frankie Charlton this year and uh, I've been over the moon with them. They've been superb. This one's now finished. It's almost finished. Pure white, it was beautiful. I've got a few down the bottom of the garden. Um, we'll show you when I go down there. I'm going to put this camera on hold. Just a quick look at the onions over there. I'm on preparing trenches down the bottom, so we'll have a quick look what I'm doing down there. I'll put this on hold and move down to the bottom. We're down in the first tunnel at the bottom of the garden. This is the only one that wasn't torn to shreds with the strong winds that we've had through the winter. This one's still intact right the way through. So I've grown a lot of the daffs that I got from Frankie, all in uh, either three or five litre pots. Some fabulous varieties. Uh, it's been great. Thank you very much, Frank. Uh, some really beautiful daffodils here if we can get the focus right there we are pure white I've had a fabulous show uh, these were very late being planted but they're absolutely great I've I've looked forward every day coming down and seeing the different varieties open really beautiful You've started me off with a new craze, Frankie. I'll be seeing you next year. I know you said you're not going to be bothering so much, but um, I'm going to have to keep up with some of these. There's so many different types, styles, shapes. They really are magnificent. They're beautiful. Most of these are exhibition varieties. Uh, it's a pity there was no big daffodil shows up here. I haven't got time to travel all over the country at the moment, but uh, they would be beautiful and I would have a go at chewing and exhibiting. Some fabulous varieties. I've got some beautiful ones up at the house as well, which we've been taking up and putting a, a bowl out inside the house. Miniature tulips, they've been stunning. They are very nice and the scent in this tunnel is beautiful because of the all the daffs and tulips. These are my stock onions along here. All skinned right down now. They need potting on into five litre pots. Uh, that'll be done well when I get the covers on. I'm waiting the covers coming from LBS. They were ordered two weeks ago. Uh, they're a little bit slow LBS at the moment in dishing stuff out but I uh, hope they come, well I was hoping they would come today so I could get them on over the weekend. It's a, a reasonable forecast. Uh, hopefully not too long. Right, I'll move down and show you what I'm doing in the trenches. Right, we're down in the bottom tunnels. Uh, these are torn to shreds, I'll show you in a moment. But uh, I only started on these trenches yesterday. It's the first chance I've had. Uh, obviously been busy in the greenhouses, looking after a lot of other people's plants. Uh, one trench I got completely finished. If you remember, I set seed of uh, mustard, Caliente mustard, and also some mixed seed in this particular trench. Uh, I'm just on with this particular trench here today. It's been turned over. I'll show you what I'm doing. If we look at it, you can see the mustard. It's grown bigger than I would have anticipated. I should have done this really late autumn, and then I could have been testing the soil and adding any fertilizer I needed. But if I move right along, you can see this is it's grown way too high but i'm actually quite pleased uh i've still got this to chop down i'm just coming along with my machete chopping it right down into small pieces as we can see lying on top of the bed and all i'm doing is just turning this in it's going into the bottom of the trenches and being dug in completely covered with soil 
that will rot down very quickly so i'm quite happy uh maybe it's a fortnight i'll put the buckets in here well five litre pots in the train trenches get them covered up with the black and white polythene uh dressing i'll probably just put terra plus on for this year nothing else uh hopefully this will feed if there's any nettles or anything come through they've all just been chopped up and put back into the bottom of the trenches that bottom trench was a no dig trench for the last two or three years i would think i haven't dug it uh, i'm pleased i have turned it over it was beautiful to dig but uh, a bit deeper than one spit uh, was quite compact on the bottom so i've loosened that up a little bit uh, may do me the world of good for this year but as you can see open sky here uh, the tunnels have been torn to shreds with the winter that we've had uh, quite a big job but hopefully i'll get it done as well as soon as the polythene covers come uh, that's it uh, it's quite a walk up into the top greenhouse so i'm not going to bother going up there i might just do a post over the weekend just to show you how the stuff to be honest some of my own stuff's getting a little bit spoiled it's crammed in on the benches and normally i would be planting out now some of it's got a little bit too big and i won't plant it uh i don't want anything too big I'm just moving the shade there and i'm going to rig a new shading system up in here uh i do have shading on the the roof as you can see and you've seen from last year but the sun still got through and burnt a lot of plants so i'm going to rig a new system up this year to try and prevent the the heat getting through and burning the plants and also i've got that heat at the big bench outside i'm going to grow 40 leeks in 35 litre pots outside great we'll see you soon thank you now bye bye